Today is as follows. We begin with an address by Oindrila. That will be followed by an address by Madam Wiener. Thereafter, the reading of the text, and if time permits, I shall come back. So in that order, let's get started. A very good morning to our respected principal, our senior members, and my fellow junior members. Today, I would like to build on the topic what our principal sir has been addressing in the last few morning assemblies. That is, what is God? In respect to this question, I would like to narrate a very famous and my favorite parable from the Bible, namely the Good Samaritan. The parable goes as, one day, a man was going from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by a pack of robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So to a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, pass by on the other side. At last came travelling a Samaritan by the same path where the man was. When he saw the man, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day, he took out some money and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I'll reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Now, I would like to ask you, who do you think was God to the man in grief? Was it the priest? Priests who are the widely accepted messengers of God, the one who claim and we believe to have a connection and an ability to communicate with God, or was it the Samaritan? Common sense says it was a Samaritan. God is not what we perceive from the already built views and beliefs. God is not what we see in the form of idols, pictures, photo frames and more of its kind. But God is about being one. God is not about celebrating the concept of God by spending half of your earnings. God is about believing in the fact that there exists a power that would always guide you in the right direction, prevent you from going in the wrong path and save you from all perils and difficulties. Like I narrated in the parable, the Samaritan was God to the man in grief. Even a priest spending his entire day in a church or see a temple did not care to save the grieved man. Then what is the meaning of claiming yourself to be a messenger of God when you actually can't be one? What is the use of linking yourself to God when you can't follow and practice what God actually wants us to do? I believe God would never want his children to starve of hunger so that his children are able to celebrate his presence. In fact, why would he even want his children to prove his presence through the expensive festivals? At last, he is omnipresent. He is supreme. Do you try proving the presence of air in every step of your life? Do you try proving that you're alive every moment? Do you breathe just to prove the world that no, I ain't dead? No, right? Then why do you need to prove God's presence with the aid of these unnecessary spendings? In fact, be a God to others. For God, at last, is humanity. The concept of God is being honest to others and to yourself. The concept of God is being genuine, to sacrifice the veil of vanity, to become naked in terms of your inner self, to be crystal clear, to make yourself available to the needy. Being God means being truthful, dutiful, and respectful. The God is you, me, the chair, the air, the fans, the light, the stray dogs, everything. Everything God is a God in its own capacity to the respective situations. All we need to do is discover the God in ourselves. Thank you. Have a nice day.